Hi, I'm Curly Sue, and if this is the first time you're coming to my channel, welcome to Curly Sue's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making pulled oyster mushrooms, and I have a guest, the wonderful Ringo from Ringo Vision. He's also a YouTuber and a wonderful chef as well. Wow, wow, people. And as you can hear, is a fellow Jamaican as well. <laughs> so, Kelly, gonna... thank you very much for inviting me on the pool. That's okay, that's I'm okay. Me there, me there, me there. All right, people, so you see where I'm going. So, I have to put on my gloves in them because hygiene, you know. Absolutely. Come in here, so you're the queen of hygiene, so I'll make sure I come in I my gloves. I do try. Okay, that's like a good Yes. So, with regards to the oyster mushrooms, there are some people who think you don't need to wash them. Well, we're from Jamaica. We're going to wash them. Okay, so let me do the washing. Then. Okay, you do those for me. Bites. That would be great. And we're going to use a fork to shred it, and that will give it that nice kind of meaty pulled texture, similar to pulled pork, pulled chicken, pulled all those things. You can do the same thing with mushroom and get those amazing flavors as well. So while he's doing that, we also I'm just going to go through the ingredients. So we're going to need four or five large oyster mushrooms. You're going to need corn flour, and I'm going to be also using some sesame oil today as well, and also garlic powder and onion powder as well. So you're going to use that to coat it, and then we're going to deep, not deep fry, shallow fry it in some hot oil to make it nice and crispy. And then after that, we're going to put a coating on the outside and then cook it again. And then it's going to be wonderful. And you can serve this with rice. You can roll it up into a wrap and add um, some salad to it and make a nice wrap for yourself as well. It's very versatile. And this is a great alternative to using fake meat or meat substitutes. This is how you can make it taste really nice very cost effective as well thank you so if you pop those there for me so let's just show the camera yeah good vibes yes so all you do you get a fork and you just pull it so that it comes into pieces just like that so you want it to and then if there's any sort of larger ones you can pull it apart because you want it to be kind of sort of stringy like you know, chicken. Shred it. Yeah, shred it. Like that. A good vibes. Yes. So that the fork does the shredding for you. You can use this also, the same method with king oyster mushrooms, which is what I usually use, but they ran out. So I just use this instead. So you can see the texture there when you shred it. You just go through and do all, all of these. Just do them quickly. And you can put a lot of flavor into this because mushrooms don't really have a huge flavor, a strong flavor. So when you put your flavor into it, you use it the way you want to. You flavor it to your taste. So I've given you kind of the seasonings that I would use, but you can tweak it for your benefit as well. So what do you think of this method, Ringo? Um, looks interesting. Yes. Yeah, I could see that you're threading the grooves of the mushroom. Yes. That, um, it makes it a bit simpler to move with the fork. Yes. A good vibe. And as you're doing that, I can smell the aroma from the mushroom as well. Yes. Lifting up a into the bit, air yeah. as well. Yes. So if you are a mushroom fan, you're going to even love it before it's even prepared yes. because of just the aroma of mushrooms. So, but fun fact, I don't yeah. like mushrooms. Okay. But yeah. I say that to say, depending on how you prepare it, I like mushrooms because what I don't usually like about mushrooms is the plain flavor that it has and the texture but in this recipe it's going to change the flavor of the mushroom and the texture so then once you do that that's good for me I can I can manage with it and it's quite easy to do so these you get quite a lot okay so it's like we've got little strings yes so strings. if you know you might have like cheese strings <laughs> oh yeah it looks like Look like if you had chicken breast flakes. Yes, yes, that's that's the idea. Because there was a phenomenon where there was pulled everything, pulled pork, pulled chicken, pulled beef, pulled this, pulled yeah. that. And then the vegans thought, okay, we can have pulled stuff as well. 
and there was born Paul's mushrooms. Okay. And that's it. So now we're going to put these into some seasoning before we fry them. So mm, that sounds that sounds nice. So we're gonna have some crispy mushrooms today. We are, we are good vibes. So good vibes. Good. So so what got you into mushroom or even thinking of doing mushrooms? Um I saw that there was a trend because yeah. on social media there's different food trends. Yeah. So I saw a trend about um, mushrooms, and because I don't like mushrooms, yeah, I thought, and and I've seen it done differently to how I've usually seen it prepared. It encouraged me to try it. Right. So I thought, even if I tried it and I didn't like it, mm. I could tweak it to how I would like it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, so I'm not a. Uh, a big fan of mushroom myself. Oh, okay. I think um, you're gonna like this. I had some roast mushrooms on my program mm -hmm. um, that released not too long ago. It was alright, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna try your one as well and see okay. how it was because I had someone that made that mushroom for me as well. Okay. So I'm gonna try your mushroom. All right. Yeah, have to let me know how it goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare them. Yes. So three tablespoons of corn flour. Okay. So the amazing corn flour, everybody, do you know what corn flour does to your food? Okay, corn flour gives a slow frying process when you're coating and it gives a nice crisp to whatever you add it to, whether it's mushroom, whether it's chicken, whether it's fish, whether it's vegetables that you want to fry up. Corn flour gives it a slow process to the frying especially to get that coating you know that golden coating that you're always looking for if you're using plain flour it might turn color real quick but the um, corn flour allows that extra extra flying without burning that's good so this was the perfect time to invite you onto the program because you just told them exactly what i didn't know exactly yeah. so that's some extra information good for vibes. You. So thank good you for vibes. that so we got here the garlic powder we just put in some of that the garlic powder sometimes sticks. And I see we've got some chopped onions as well. Uh, onion dried, uh, dried onion granules. granules, yes, as well. Let's get this. The reason we use the dried one is because we're going to coat it. Because usually I'm a very much an advocate of using fresh ingredients where possible. But for this particular one, so that it can kind of cling to the, the mushroom. Thank you. So it can cling to the mushroom. We use the powder, but we're going to use the onions and stuff as well. Good vibes. All right. And, and I guess the granules give like a little crunch as well, isn't it? Yes, a little bit. Yeah. So we've got some ginger. So if you don't mind, could you chop the ginger for me, please? Yeah, good vibes. Thing? All of it? Yes, please. This one, please. I just mix the um, onion and garlic powder into the corn flour. So we have to do that to make sure the flavours are distributed evenly. That right? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. With this. I can smell all the flavours coming together. Right, I'm going to start the oil because we're going to need the hot oil. Okay. We need to add the chopped garlic in as well. Because the secret to flavouring the mushrooms is to add the same sort of seasonings you need to use if you're using pulled pork, pulled chicken, pulled beef. The same sort of seasonings you would use for that kind of dish, use the same sort for a pulled mushroom dish as well. Great job, thank you. Can you put that in for me please? Yeah. Thank you. Right, just stir that round. So All right, so we've got, we've got something going on right now. Yep. So we're going to put some salt and pepper, some black pepper. All of the um, ingredients and the full recipe is in the description box below. 
And this is what's going to be infused into our mushroom to create our overall taste, right? Absolutely. A good vibe for everybody. So, as you can see, the chemistry is happening with all the little herbs and the spices that's gone into the little mixture of the corn flour. Then, like, the mushroom is waiting patiently, everybody, to just be... Woo! Yeah. So, I'm going to put those there in. There we go. Good vibes. So, like how I've got gloves on, I can do a little... Go ahead. There yeah, you go. So let's get let's get going, everyone. So we're gonna just massage, isn't it? Yeah. Like a look on massage. So it's as much of the um, mixture sticks to the mushroom as possible. And then we have to be delicate as well because the yeah the, we don't want to we don't want to crush the mushrooms, isn't it? Yeah, we don't mushroom mushroom puree. Light yeah, hands, puree. everybody. Light yes, hands. Yes. TLC. Delicate process. So look at it. Look at that. Yep. That's looking really good. Fabulous. Told them that smelling really fabulous as well. It's a shame that YouTube doesn't have um, smell a vision so you can mm. smell <laughs> things too. That would yeah. be really good. I'm sure in the future there will be. <laughs> if you think they should, you should be able to smell it, comment in the comment section below. There we go. Yeah. Have to make sure the oil is hot so that when you drop it in there, it makes it nice and crispy before we move on to the next stage. Yeah. Going to place the coated pulled mushroom into the hot oil. Wow, hands on like that. Whoa. Good bag. So how long will it cook to fry for now? Just a, um, a few minutes until it's crispy. And then that's it. We just take it out to drain. Just make sure that's nice and crispy and then we're going to drain it on some kitchen towel and then move on to the sauce that's going to go with it. So you keep moving it around to make sure it doesn't stick. You just keep going until it's nice and crispy. So once it's nice and crispy, then we just put it on some kitchen paper to drain. And then we're going to make the sauce. Woo! So we've got some nice crispy mushrooms everyone. Mm -hmm. Good vibes. Yes, and good flavours and good texture. So we've got spring onion, we've got garlic, we've got onion, good vibes. Mm -hmm. Ginger. Ginger. And we've got the mushroom itself. Yes. Okay, so we can leave that there for the moment. I'm going to add... We're going to add some more ginger to the pan and then to that we're going to add a little coconut aminos. Coconut aminos is a, an alternative to soy sauce. If you haven't got coconut aminos you can use soy sauce instead. Use a little bit of that. one tablespoon of tahini so four tablespoons of water in two tablespoons of sugar, brown sugar. And 
and a tiny splash of sesame oil. And that is going to make our sauce. So that we keep going until that becomes a smooth sauce and then we're going to put the mushrooms, crispy mushrooms, back into it, stir it around and then we're ready to try it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think we're there. So if we just put this back in. And turn the heat off. Coat it and we're ready to try. Just to give it a little extra colour and texture, just put some chopped spring onion on top. Now we're ready to try. Mmm, I love the crunch. Very nice. I taste the ginger. Mm. I think I need some tasters to come in and try this. So yep. we've got Ringo. Good vibes. Ringo. How's so, it taste? Yeah, I'm gonna see. Mm. The sweetest mushroom. I'm gonna give the flavour. <laughs> Tell you exactly where it is. So, it's like a, a texture of fried chicken. So, it's like a sweet chicken with the nutty flavour towards the end, like almost caramelly, like giving you that finish on the back of your tongue. So, it makes you keep on chewing again. Car. You, it, the flavour takes long to come so you have to just chew until you find it because as you, if you know mushroom like she said mushroom doesn't have a taste mm. so it's been infused so them tiny little particles there are just bursting in your mouth slowly so you have to just wait you have to chew it out okay. and make them come out make them come out okay. so that's what I was doing okay. to bring it out to just yeah and that's what, that's what it is okay, okay. Chef good Ricardo. vibes well, me see what I go on right now because I'm there to see what I go on. I'm get a nice piece right here. Right. Well, I need to taste this because I see it was chilling that way <laughs> over here. So I'm excited to taste it. Okay. And I got ginger, which is my favorite. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go for it. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Ringo is wrap. We got a nice got this sweet taste. Mmm. Mm. So we're gonna join it. This texture is coming in. It's creeping in in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Coming in. Okay. Coming in. Okay. So <laughs> Ricky, <laughs> Chef Ricky. Mmm. Uh, mm. Hey Ben, I want you to try it. Mm. Oh. Now Ricky is I'm not a fan of mushroom. Yeah, we don't like mushrooms. But this tastes like chicken. Okay. Tastes nice. Okay. Like, yeah. like a meal. Mm. I I take um, that as a huge compliment. Yeah, tastes like a meal. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Well, thank you, gentlemen, fellow chefs, for mm. tasting my pulled mushroom. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to 
subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll see more great vegan recipe videos just like this one every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eat good, eat clean, eat blessed. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. It's proper.